Greetings, salutations. Welcome to Library Lowdown. This is the show where you can tune in and find out all the cool stuff that is going on in the library. You get the lowdown on what's happening in the library. I am Terry Ray. I am the interim library director. This is my friend, Michaeline. Hi. Michaeline. <laughs> I always just go, she's sort of our, our social media advertising communications guru. Mm -hmm. What is your official title? Uh, it's officially the communication specialist. Communication mm -hmm. specialist. That's, that's very apt. It's very appropriate. That's exactly what you do. Good. I like it. Um, so I, I'm super excited and I'm going to do the thing and I'm going to stop apologizing about my hands. Just I get super excited. This is super cool to me. Um, what is this thing? This is the Padcaster. We got a grant from the Oklahoma Department of Libraries um, to try this out, and it kind of comes with a whole kit, which is fun. Say, there's it's, lots of attachment yeah. things, and and yeah, this is okay. Yes, it was a lot of fun to play with. Um, so it comes with its own little tripod and a stand for an iPad. We had to buy the iPad separate for the grant but it comes with all these cool attachments like um, this microphone here that we can have. Uh, turn it around. I was gonna say, because an iPad book. has two cameras, so mm -hmm. could you use either camera? Yep, you can use that camera. We also have two um, lens attachments that we can use, Ooh. like a wide angle lens. Yeah, very cool. Mm -hmm. um, and this little thing here, this little attachment, that's one I'm kind of excited mm -hmm. about. It's one I don't normally use, but I think it's super cool. What is it? That is the teleprompter. So if you have a script that you want to use, you can put it on here and we can see it. Um, it works just with a regular smartphone. You just pop it in there. Oh, cool. Like, so like you could take like your phone mm -hmm. and put it in there and then it, it reflects up at you so that you can see the words so that you're looking at the camera and reading at the same time. Yeah. That's very cool. Which is a lot of fun, yeah. yeah. I've had a lot of fun playing with that too. Um, and then it comes with a speaker. Um, it doesn't have attached right now, but an LED light. Oh, cool, so that you have good light. lighting. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. um, and there's a green screen that comes with it, right? Like yes. a pop-up green screen? It comes with that too in a stand, and it reaches about seven, seven feet. Oh, cool. Very cool. Um, so like, what what would you do with such a setup? Mm -hmm. um, well, what we have something we have planned this week, not next week, next is week. with Margot, um, the adult programmer. Mm -hmm. We were going to do a kind of like a report. Very cool. From the library. Yeah. So that, that's a great way to use the microphone, especially and the prompter. We're going to use. We got the script set up. Oh, so cool. Unloaded. So cool. And okay, so they so we got a grant. Mm -hmm. um, and and we're trying this out, and then um, we're sort of presenting information on whether or not we think that this is a good thing for libraries. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a webinar, I believe is what we're going to do in, in August or towards the end of the year. And we're just going to talk to other librarians and educators about what worked, what didn't work. Um, we got grant money as well to work with caption services. Fantastic. Trying those out as well. Yeah, the, the caption services are something that I'm really excited about um, because I think it really helps with um, the accessibility, mm -hmm. right? And so like, as we're talking, if there's no captions and somebody either cannot hear or doesn't hear well, um, or for sometimes, for me, I'm like, I just wanna turn the volume down mm -hmm. on things and I just wanna read the captions. <laughs> You know, like I just need the quiet. Um, the captions really help everybody be able to access mm -hmm. the access the videos. I can words. Sometimes <laughs> I can words. Um, yeah. So I'm super excited about this. Is this something that eventually you envision the public being able to access in the library? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely something. I think it would be awesome maybe for teens too to try it out yeah, and like, get some video editing experience and yeah. to make their own videos and. Be something cool to put into the makerspace maybe yeah I think it would be um, and like you could like a single person could legitimately set this up and make their own videos mm -hmm. which I think is is super cool yeah. um, like there's like a whole crew making this particular video happen um, and right. so if there are ways that we can make that same process 
sort of accessible to you know somebody that's like just one person or maybe one or two people wanting to make a video this is this makes it accessible mm -hmm. which I think is super cool yeah it has everything you need to um, I didn't bring the dolly wheels but um, you can like stick it on the dolly and cart mm. it around too which makes it a lot easier to so you don't have to yeah I take it um, apart yeah I love the dolly wheels things on <laughs> on tripods and I know try not to geek out too much about that concept but being able to roll your tripod relatively smoothly is like a huge deal mm -hmm. um, so that is that's super I'm very excited about this and I'm I'm very excited to see eventually what community folks do with the ability to create quality videos um, and use the green screen which is it's mm -hmm. a pop-up green screen right yeah so like we have one that's a huge it's on a huge frame and it's a whole procedure to set it up but the one that comes with the padcaster is like it just it, yeah it just pops up and then you just stick it on the stand and you can just start going that is so cool i'm super excited about this thank you so much for for talking about this and working with it and and doing the grant and yeah this oh i'm excited about this yeah, super cool. Okay, so we're going to start working with it, and eventually it will be available for patron use um, here in the library. So mm -hmm. not the kind of thing you would check out, but you could use it in the library. Yeah, for sure. All right, super cool. We have some other exciting stuff coming up in February. One of the things I'm really jazzed about is the blind date with a book. Mm, those um, are always fun. Yeah, have you done this before with the blind date with mm -hmm. a book? Um, so I'm kind of excited about this, um, and we've decided that you absolutely need some information about what the book is about uh, so that you right. can make a decision about whether or not you're going to like this book. For example, um, this that one sounds interesting. This one says <laughs> urban fantasy, paranormal romance. Um, and whenever books, I mean, it also says mysteries and coffee, and I'm all about the coffee and the mysteries. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm always a little bit cautious about the romance because romance is not my genre. Do you like the romance books? Yeah. A lot I of love people romance. love the romance. <laughs> um, and I have this combination of, I sort of feel like um, like the scene from Shrek, where he's got the flower and he's going to try to give this flower to Fiona. And he's like, I don't really like it, but it's pretty and you're pretty, so you might like it. I kind of feel like that when mm -hmm. I'm talking about romance. I'm like, it's not really my thing, but a lot of people like it, so you might like it. Um, that or the scene from The Princess Bride. At the beginning, you know, and Grandpa comes in and he's going to read the sick kid the story, right. and the kid's like, "Is this a kissing book?" <laughs> I'm, I'm always like, "Is there kissing?" And I'm really like, "Give me the the fantasy and the dragons," and I'm like, mm. "Yes," you know. Um, so we want to put some information so that folks know what they're getting, but you won't know which book it is. Um, this one here it says, "Young adult, Vlad the Impaler, 1930s Eastern Europe." Um, I think I've read this one, but I don't know for sure. It does say there is a tiny bit of romance, um, which I can deal with a tiny bit of romance. Mm -hmm. You know, I can I can sort of ignore it for a minute. You know, if there's people making googly eyes at each other, but um, I am super excited about this. We're going to have a big display. Um, we're going to wrap more, um, so they will be available for checkout. We've put the barcode number here at the bottom, um, so we can check it out for you before you've opened it. Um, so yeah, I think this is going to be super fun. Um, do we have other cool stuff coming up in February that you know of? Um, February, they have the mini mad scientists and the junior mad scientists. Oh that yes, that should be a lot of fun. Yeah, the STEM projects, um, and those are registration required. Mm -hmm. um, that way, Miss Susan can keep a track of how many people are coming, um, and sort of a smaller group at first, so that we make sure that the system that we have set up is working. Um, so I think that's 10, does that sound right? Does that sound like? I think it was about 10, yeah. Yeah, so, um, so junior, junior mad scientists, mini mad scientists, uh, Lego club. Mm -hmm. It's coming back. Super excited about the Lego club. And I've heard, and I'm wondering how many people think that this is true, I've heard that maybe adults might also like a Lego club. Do you know adults that like Legos? Not personally, but I know, like, I'm pretty excited about that. Right? I mean, I like, would like to make something. <laughs> like, I don't necessarily know some, like, like, I've heard that people say that, but I'm like, that's kind of cool. Like, I want to play with Legos yeah. and build stuff and, you know. So I think that would be a cool. Yeah, that would be cool coming up. So if you're interested in Lego Club and you're a grown-up, 
um, and you want to encourage us by saying yes, grown-ups would also like Lego Club, um, let us know. So like leave us a comment on a video, um, call the library, stop by the library, something like that, say yes, I'm interested in this. And, and, and that way we know that you want to do that and that will be super cool. Yeah. All right, cool. I am so excited. We have all kinds of great things happening in the library. You can always find our calendar online. Uh, Mikey also helps set up our website, which is beautiful. Thank you so much. It, it always looks good. And now you can print the calendar, right? Mm -hmm. That's so, I, I'm so excited about the way that we are making things available. Um, so thank you for doing that. The website is enid.okpls.org. Mm -hmm. And then backslash events gets us the calendar. Um, and we'll put a little link and there'll be a little blurb. I, I know how to do that. Super cool. Yeah, so come on down to the library, check out some of the programming, check out some of the books, and it'll be a great February in the library. We can't wait to see you in the library.